Hello and welcome. Today guys I want to share with you all version 2 for ginger beer. Now ginger beer everyone makes it differently and I have the grated version on my channel already. That's the first one that I did last year and this one I'm going to make, I'm actually going to be boiling this one but if you wanted to ferment this instead of boiling it you can. And as I go along with the recipe, I'll tell you guys the steps if you wanted to ferment it or you can follow along with this recipe. Now to start, I put four cups of water into my blender and into the blender, I'm going to put in half a pound of ginger that I peeled and cubed up. All you want to do is blend this until it's very fine. Okay guys, if you wanted to do the fermentation method, you would empty this mixture into a mug, something with a cover that you can leave it for a couple of days to ferment. Now, when you put this into your mug, you're going to add in some cloves, some allspice berries and a star anise, along with one cinnamon stick and a piece of orange peel. You'll just put all of these ingredients into that jug with the blended ginger and you're going to close it, leave it on your counter for one to two days. Some people prefer putting it in their refrigerator, you can do that also. And after you've let it ferment for those two days, you strain it and then serve it on ice. After it has fermented for those two days, you're going to strain it sweeten with sugar to taste you can either add a beer to it you can add alcohol to it or you can add a club soda to it depending on who you're serving this for so that's the fermentation method let's move on onto the boiling method to a saucepan you're going to empty that ginger and if you wanted this to be a mild ginger beer Add more liquid in here. If you want a stronger ginger beer, then you have you would put less liquid when you're blending your ginger. To the ginger, you're going to put in the same spices you would as if you're fermenting it on the counter. The cinnamon. So I put in three cloves, three allspice berries, one star anise, and one piece of cinnamon stick. And I'm also going to go in with a piece of an orange peel. Now I'm going to put this up on medium heat and allow it to boil. So the ginger beer has come up to a boil and what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow this to boil for about 10 to 15 minutes on medium low heat because I want all of those flavors to develop in this ginger beer. Okay guys, this is finished and as you can see it has reduced a little bit and if you wanted a stronger ginger beer, you just allow this to reduce a little more. So what I'm going to do is strain this out into a container. You just want to press down on that ginger pulp because there would be a lot of juice left in there. And now all you do is sweeten with sugar to taste. So guys, here you have it, ginger beer. Now, I know I did not ferment the ginger beer for it to be a true ginger beer. But as I said, if you guys wanted to do that step, and as I explained how to do it, you can go ahead and do that step. Now, with this, if you wanted to cool this down, and chill it in your refrigerator. You can serve this with a club soda or you can serve it with a light lager or you can serve it with rum. A spiced rum like a Myers rum would be really nice in this. So I'm just gonna pour this out into the container. I'm gonna store it in. So guys, here you have it, my recipe for ginger beer. I hope you guys enjoyed my version. I'm just sharing with you all the way that I like it. And I hope you try this one, the fermentation method, and even the first one that I have on my channel. Out of the three, this one is my best 
recipe. So if you guys enjoyed today's recipe, I hope you remember to give the video a thumbs up and to share it with your friends. If you're new to my channel and you like what you see, I hope you subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all another day with another one of my recipes. Enjoy!